experiencing snow on top of what they've already had. Take a look. Montgomery City, Missouri has picked up 20 inches of snow. It's not the only place. Other states like Iowa and Illinois have also picked up over a foot of snow. Dulles Airport, that's just outside of D.C., they technically only have had about five inches of snow so far. That may not seem like a lot, but what you have to understand is they're not really even yet to their halfway point. We still expect to get about another four to six inches out of this system. So the question is, will D.C. get up to a foot of snow before before this is finally said and done. It's not out of the question. When you look at all the areas that have pink, those are the locations that have picked up a foot of snow so far. We have still the winter weather alerts in effect for no rubber duckies, no snow, <laughs> no cold. Nothing could stop the Chiefs, not even rubber ducky day. They nailed it, right? Oh, they nailed it. They're still celebrating. The fans are going nuts still. Why not, right? So it was total and complete domination from the start. If I knew, but I have from no Snoop there. idea. Yeah, <laughs> Snoop is. Uh, he was kind of natural. I'll yeah, admit. right. Like, it's like his calling. Yeah. Maybe he should give up his rap career. Yeah. Because he's really got it going on. It's not, like a lot of fans sitting there are saying the same thing in their heads, and Snoop Dogg just kept it real. So. He did. Good uh, stuff. Christina, thank you so much. That was really cute in 2019. Do you remember we're already in 2019? And that includes having handy hacks to better your health. Joining us now this morning, our series New Year, New Hack, is Dr. Barbara Joy Jones with help to make you feel yourself at any age. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having it. me. It's very different for every, I guess you could say, age group, a bracket, right? So I want to yes. start with sort of our youngest viewers. Let's say you're in your 20s and you're at home and you're getting ready to go to work this morning. What do you need to do to really optimize your health and your happiness? Okay, so for 20s, these are our millennials. They're dealing with high stress, sleeping at night and then wakefulness during the day. But that's so hard for people in that age group because they're always connected. And does that put more pressure on them because they're always sort of in the know yes. and they're, because their tablets are on and their TVs are on and their phones are on, then their minds are on. That's yes. the problem that you're seeing? Yes. Same problem for folks in their 30s, or do you see it a little bit less? Are they able to disconnect? You can run on a treadmill, you can have like a 20 minute hit session, you can get on your phone. That being said, do you see people in their 30s and also into their 40s and 50s capitalizing on that? Um, working out? Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh yeah, everything's digital now. It's so much more accessible. So yes, I do see that. Okay, advice for people in their 40s and 50s, the two brackets that we haven't talked about quite yet. Okay, um, also mental health, that's huge. Right. Emotional health and physical health go hand in hand. So if you find that you're struggling with that emotional health, get a therapist, counselor, a coach. And what's amazing is nowadays, everybody's doing things virtually, so that's much more accessible and convenient for people. For prevention purposes, my last question is when you talk about the mental health, is that for, for every, are you doing that for every generation or do you see a time when people really need to be proactive about that? I do think that it's very important. If younger kids, they're like always crying and they're like getting their emotions out. You're like, maybe I should just always be giving my emotions out too. Dr. Barbara yes. Jones, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I appreciate me. it, great advice. It's been more dangerous for pregnant women than Zika. Do I have your attention? You may not have heard of it yet. It's called Rift Valley Fever. As you remember, the Zika virus set off a global crisis back in 2015, causing thousands of severe birth defects. Dr. Sujatha Reddy, Reddy excuse me, is here. No Thank you so much for joining Thank us, you. doctor. I had never heard of this. Can you explain to me, A, what it is and how you get it? Yeah, so Rift Venta, then the Zika virus. While all pregnant women that were infected with Zika didn't have birth defects with their babies, this could be far more serious. In what way? Um, what type of birth defects could it potentially cause? So an and day. So you talk about it just being in Africa, but that, that really doesn't mean that it, it can't travel very quickly. It could. The world has become a very small place. So if you're contact with animals for Rift Valley fever. All right, well, knowledge is power. Dr. Reddy, thank, thank you. you so much. We appreciate you being early, uh, available early. <laughs> All right, right. Most NFL teams couldn't stop the Chiefs this season, right? Everybody was talking about them all season, and cold weather obviously didn't stop them either. Let's see how they're going to do next weekend. Christina Fitzpatrick <laughs> is here, right? Right. Yes, it was total and complete domination from beginning right. to end for Kansas. Yeah, if you didn't know that was going on while you're watching football, well, now you know. Now you know the highlights, right? Yeah. All right, so let's head to the other coast. Miami Dolphins fans are always up for a party, even at breakfast. What time is it? What time is it right now? In today's Tom's Tailgate, we head to the Sunshine State to watch the diehard faithful get ready for an early game.
Randy, I mean, I, you kind of have to sort of like wrap your head around just how much money we're talking about. $137 billion with a B. They have four children. They have multiple homes. I mean, talk about a team of attorneys that has to put this together, Ooh. right? I mean, I would be scared to death. I would have four other firms. I'd find all my competitors and I'd say, let's keep the golden goose alive and laying golden eggs. How do you prepare a couple and a team of lawyers to just say, listen, Never, divorces are never pretty, but let's keep the peace. Well, first, yes. They have multiple homes. If I'm not mistaken, they're filing for divorce in Washington State. Right. How does that impact? Before we go, they were married 25 years ago when they moved from New York out west, and, and she was the accountant for... All right, it is time for this week's Wandermus. Some call Charleston, South Carolina, the holy city. It's beautiful. The churches are gorgeous. Historic neighborhoods are wonderful. It, it's one of the world's top destinations.